Hey friends, Mike here. Nice little morning harvest. It is September the 20th. Um, hey, we're getting, we're getting a happy bowl of produce every day. Beans, different kind of peppers. The sriracha peppers are starting to turn red. Um, Tabasco are getting ready to harvest. These are beauties. These, <laughs> these asparagus beans are amazing. I did a short on that and we're gonna be making some pickles and we're gonna be pickling jalapenos. Um, temperature still hot <laughs> it's gonna be in the upper 90s uh, we're hoping for a cold front so let's go into the kitchen and do some pickling all right we are in the kitchen and we're getting low on pickles so let's make some pickles let me bring you in here and show you what we're gonna do we're gonna make the brine and then we're gonna prep these Asian long beans, also known as asparagus beans. We've got our peppers, we need to sanitize our jars, so let's get busy. Just gonna make a quick brine, guys. I will put the recipe, promise you. So, equal parts water to white vinegar, and then seasoned salt to taste, so that's probably good enough right there. And then white vinegar. Now, if you like less vinegar, you can put less. I like mine to be a little punchy. We'll turn the fire on, start getting it warm. And then we're gonna go ahead and we'll start with a couple of tablespoons of salt. Now the seasoning is gonna actually be in the jar. So when I go to pour the brine in, uh, the seasonings will be in there. So we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna let that go for a minute, spin it, stir it and taste it. Yeah, the flavor is right where I like it. Mm, just a nice punch, a little bit of salt. I am going to add a little bit of citric acid. That's going to help keep it crisp. Uh, it's also going to help uh, with the color, maintaining its color. So maybe a teaspoon. Now what I like to do too to help keep it crisp is we have a bay laurel tree. And we have fresh bay leaves all year. I've never lost the bay laurel tree. Uh, even in the epic snowstorm we had a couple of years ago. So this has tannins in it that will help keep uh, anything that you pickle crisp. So we'll pop that in the actual liquid brine. Uh, I'll cook that tannin out of it into the brine and then we'll just pull them out. All right, let's talk spices. So we put the tricolor peppercorns. We'll do a little coriander. I like to keep my spices in these jars because it keeps them fresh. Now these are actually just, we're gonna mix them in there um, and then we'll pour them in the jar before we put the green beans um, and the peppers. Uh, we've got some dill seed, love dill seed. Celery seed, I've been using this a lot more lately. Just pour that in. I don't have any fresh dill, unfortunately, but hey, the dry dill works just fine. And then let's put a little bit of spice in there. And we'll put a little red chili flakes. There we go. And that will go in the jars. Okay guys, for the jars, I have sanitized them in the dishwasher. Um, and I use this product, you've seen it before. It's very safe to use. It's called One Step. It's a powder. I mix it with this water here, shaky shaky and I spray all inside, all over the lids as well too. And that's a no wrench uh, sanitizer. These beans are so awesome. So they're gonna have these little tips on them right here. You wanna cut those off. And then I just try to get them around the same length as the jar, cause they're gonna go in like little soldiers. So I'm just gonna pop, gonna pop that off. And I just try to measure the best I can. Some of them may be a little shorter, that's okay. You wanna get rid of these little tips. They kinda of turn brown. And then we'll continue with the rest. These are really cool. They, they grow in pairs of two. Like, like they're little companions.
but you can you can get a small harvest every day and every night obviously better if, if we had rain today, today it's going to be in the upper 90s i think everybody in texas is sick of it and well everybody here in the central part of the country guys we got a few different types of peppers these are the pepperoncinis banana peppers they, they do grow a little smaller than your normal banana peppers but that's what i really like because they got a nice crunch a nice pop of flavor I like sport peppers so we're going to pickle those and we've got your jalapeno and we've got a sriracha which is new this year i've never done that so we're just going to we're going to pickle all these whole i don't want to have to slice them up i still have some left over from last harvest so we're going to go ahead and we'll get all this prepped up and ready to go okay i'm going to take the jars we're just going to go ahead and try and get these in here to where they stick straight up so I'll put half of them in, and then I'll take a pinch of half of the spices, or some of the spices, sorry, and then a couple of cloves of garlic. Oh, stay in there, little buddies. Okay, let's put some more. There we go. Probably fit a few more. We are gonna water bath these for 10 minutes. Ms. Rochelle told me that we don't have that much room in the refrigerator. Okay, half of them in. A good pinch of the spice mix. I can always add more spice. There we go. I'll turn that light on for you so you can see. Can never have enough pickles, especially in the winter. Holiday season comes up. Rochelle and I like to make, uh, during the holiday season, when friends and family come over, pickle platters. All different kinds of pickles. People love that. Okay, maybe a little more spice. And th this one needs a couple of garlic. I just use the garlic on all the green beans. Okay, let's get to the jalapenos. Since I'm gonna be canning these whole guys, I know it's a little tedious, but what I wanna do is I wanna poke a hole in it so that brine will work its way in. And as far as the jalapenos and the srirachas, I'm just gonna mix them in there. Kind of festive looking. Let's get some spice in there. You can kind of adjust it. That's fine. We'll just start loading them up. Might have to get some more jars. We've got plenty. It's another thing we've been doing is saving up on jars, canning equipment. There was a little bit of a shortage on lids not too long ago, but we made sure to stock up two years ago when we had that crazy snowstorm. We'll pack those down really good, guys. Get them in there. Make sure to wash your hands really good if you're not used to handling chilies. And scratch your eyes or go to the bathroom. And pack them in really good. If I have a couple of fresh ones left over, that's fine. We'll use them in, in our cooking this week. And it looks like Looks like we've got it where we want it to be, packed in there. Enough room for the brine, so I'll just save these for dinner. On to the pepperoncinis. Hey guys, just a reminder, I'm sure a lot of you know this, but if you really haven't done much canning, make sure to use kosher or sea salt or pink Himalayan salt. Don't use the table salt. Don't do that. It has that iodine in there, and that's nasty. 
Oh, I lost a soldier. This is going to be absolutely just perfect. It may not be as packed, but that's okay. All right, ready to add brine. We're going to remove those bay leaves. That's easy. Go ahead and hit our ladle. Now everything's been sanitized. The ladle, the funnel, my little debubbler, which is just a chopstick, a fancy chopstick. I'm going to move this pot a little closer. And we're going to go ahead and start. Ooh, accidents can happen, but we saved it. <laughs> I'm going to fill up all the way to the rim line, leave about a quarter of an inch. And we'll go back through. It's so satisfying to open up your cupboard and have your own homemade pickles, or whatever you've canned. It's a beautiful thing, and you know where the food is coming from, too. You know, we're pretty much 95% organic. Um, so I know where the food's coming from. Sorry about that. Let me go grab a pot holder so I can lean that pot over a little bit. I don't want to have to make more brine if I don't have to, but I can. couple of ones. And we're going to debubble and poke our little chopstick in there. We want to make sure there's no bubbles. And then we can top off with some more brine if we need to. Try this. Some, if you guys, even if you don't have a garden, um, go get a, a good deal on some produce, maybe go to your farmer's market and do a quick pickle. You can actually, you can actually do a quick pickle by not can canning it. I'm going to be canning it. So after this point, you could clean the lids, um, put the lids on and just refrigerate it. And I want it shelf stable, so I'm going to be canning it. Okay, now we're going to debubble. We're just going to stir it around, poke your little debubbler in. A lot of the canning kits come with a plastic one. You don't want to use anything metal because you could damage the jars. You could do a little shaky shaky. That works too. Get up in there. It looks like we actually have a, the right amount of brine. I might top off the jalapenos a little bit. Hey guys, this bar mat, this rubber bar mat is amazing. I, I ordered two of them. You can just Amazon search uh, bar mat. Okay, very important step guys, Put, get a little towel, get some white vinegar and really clean that edge. Make sure there's no little bits of spices or anything. We want a good seal before we take the lids on and um, we can it. We're going to can this for 10 minutes. Okay guys, finger tight. So finger, not your, your hand. Don't barrel down on it because it'll warp the ring. So just nice taunt, nice taunt. Ready, boom, just like that, real simple. All right, let's get these jars in here. Oh, we got a nice simmer going on. Now, just so you know, there is some white vinegar in this water. A couple of reasons is, you see the jar, it's got a little bit of um, minerals on there. Get all these jars in here and they will water bath at a nice simmer for about 10 minutes. Might go a couple minutes longer, but we'll see. Just look how nice that is. These are just amazing. And make sure the lid pops. They all did. Not bad for a bumper crop. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this little video, little harvest. 
make pickles. It's not hard. I'll put a simple brine recipe um, down below. Um, if you guys don't have any of these bar mats, I'm telling you, they're amazing. They're easy to clean. Um, and you can get them at Amazon or just shop around. But yeah, pickles. And these are shelf stable. So, hey, thanks for watching. We are working on so many series videos. Uh, we started uh, an onion series video. Uh, we're going to be growing Maui sweet onions, Hawaiian onions. Uh, that's not going to release until next year. Um, and we've got some other different grow table series coming up too. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Rochelle, she's very busy, but we'll get her to do uh, a couple of videos here soon. Thanks for watching. Hey, God bless.